I'd like to show you um, um, some raw brass earrings that I have already hole punched a second time. They come already pre-drilled on the top so if you can see the the holes on the top there they're all ready to go for a pair of earrings. They come in a set um, and then what I've done is I've put another hole on the bottom with my hole puncher so I can dangle um, a crystal or whatever else I want to dangle from that and I'll show you the finished um, product on these but I want to show you how easy it is we're gonna do alcohol ink again because I want to show you how easy it is to put alcohol ink on raw brass this is called raw brass I've washed it um, degreased it which is soap and water and then made sure it was dry really well and then you're just gonna paint it on you can see how easily that goes on a little tiny bit goes a long way with this Look how gorgeous this is. You're going to let it dry. You're going to you're going to want to do front and back. I usually do the front, let it dry, and then do the back. And then I add some accents and I'm going to show you how how easy it is to add the accents to it. These make a great gift. I'm going to use the German silver with the um, Gilder's paste because it has a little bit more of a gold tone and I just really like the look of um, the gold on the fuchsia for the earrings. This is the regular silver in the Gilder's Paste on my left and on my right this is called German silver and it's just a beautiful mix of gold um, and silver together. You can see that there and with the earrings um, I like to just take it and go along the edge just very lightly along the edge and you could do one side, you could do both sides however you want to do it. There, and it just gives it just that beautiful little accent. It really just makes it pop, I think. Here's the before, and then there's the after. So again, this is a step you don't have to do. I just think it adds so much to it. And if you wanted to do just down, like I said, just down the center, the right side right here, you could just leave it like that if you wanted to. That would be pretty too. Now after you go along the edge, um, you could leave it like this or you could bring just a couple more accents out from this brass stamping by just running your finger lightly over the top of this. And it just really just attaches to the raised brass if you could see that. And I just think that's so pretty the way that is there. Let's do the other one. I love that look. And you're all set with the earrings. There's the way the back looks. I like to leave the back plain. Um, the back does not have the raised edges on the brass from the stamping like the front does. So when I try to put the um, gilders paste on the back it, it doesn't look very good. So these I'm going to let these dry for a little while and then these will be ready to seal. All right there if you could see we've put the accent of an additional lighter color around the edge our gilders paste and then just added some ear wires and you are good to go. Here's another pair that that I've done where we've dangled the um, Swarovski crystals on the bottom. And then these, which I have a lot of accents in these with the Gilders paste. You can see those are really pretty too.